Hey, what's happening guys? Today we've got some keto candy bars on the menu and we're actually gonna be making a Nutty Crunch chocolate keto candy bar recipe today. So these have a crunchy element because of the nuts and a rich, sweet, delicious element, of course, because of the chocolate. And best of all, these candy bars are super quick and easy to make and super low carb. Each one of these actually just has two net carbs. So that said, let's not waste any more time. Let's jump right into it and get into the recipe. All right, the first thing we're going to do is get out a medium sized bowl. And then to that bowl, we're gonna add two cups of nuts and seeds. And you can use any combination of nuts and seeds that you like for your low carb candy bars. But for mine, as you're seeing here, I like to add one cup or 125 grams of almonds, along with three quarters of a cup or 100 grams of macadamia nuts. And then finally, a quarter cup or 30 grams of sunflower seeds. Then once we've got those in there, we're gonna add those nuts to a large Ziploc bag, and then we're gonna roughly crush those up with a rolling pin. And this might take a couple of minutes to do, so I recommend just enjoying the process and really making sure you take out some of your stresses and frustrations out on those nuts. Anyway, once those are looking good, we're gonna set them aside and we're gonna get out an even larger bowl and we're gonna add some of these keto-friendly chocolate chips to it. Personally, I really like these dark chocolate ones by Lily's since they're totally sugar-free and only have one net carb per serving. But there are a few other brands out there and you can totally use those as well. Regardless of which one you go with though, you're gonna to wanna to add one and a half cups or 235 grams of those chocolate chips to your very large bowl. Then once we've got those in there, we're gonna add one cup or 256 grams of some nut butter. And with that said, I went with sunflower seed butter today because it's very neutral in taste. So the bars are gonna end up having a more chocolatey taste to them. Also, it only has two net carbs per serving. So it's one of the lowest carb nut butters that you can find and use. Now, once we've got that in there, we're gonna add three tablespoons or 42 grams of some refined coconut oil to help our chocolate and peanut butter solidify a little bit better later on. Also, it's worth mentioning again that you wanna make sure you're using refined coconut oil for your keto candy bars because it doesn't taste like coconut, whereas unrefined does. So, as you're seeing here, we're gonna mix all those ingredients together until they just start to combine and then we're gonna microwave them in a couple of 45 second intervals, of course, mixing after each one of those until the chocolate chips have totally melted and incorporated themselves with the other ingredients. All right, so now that we've got our chocolate looking pretty good, we're gonna sweeten it up a bit more, of course, in a totally low carb, keto friendly way by sifting in a heaping third of a cup or 65 grams of some confectioner's swerve. And by the way, confectioners like Kanto's monk fruit will work just as well. Okay, so now that we've got our sweetener in there, we're gonna add our crushed up nuts to our bowl, and then we're gonna give everything a good mix until it's well combined and looks something like this. Now, when we've got that consistency going on in our bowl, we're gonna get out an 11 by seven baking tray. We're gonna add a little bit of water to the bottom of the tray. Doing this is gonna help keep the parchment paper we're about to add to it in place, and then all we'll have to do is cut off some of the excess paper that's sticking out from the tray when we've got it in there. So now that we've got that set, we can pour our candy bar mixture into the tray. And then once we've got all of that in there, we're going to get out a spatula and smooth it out as best we can. Then when that's looking good, we can get our tray into the freezer and freeze it for at least an hour or until the chocolate has set. And then when it has, we're going to get it onto a cutting board and we're gonna use a very sharp knife to cut it into 16 to 18 pieces. And that my friends is how to make some keto Nutty Crunch chocolate candy bars. As always, for more info on the recipe, check out the video description below. I hope you enjoy these bars as much as I do. Chef's kiss, I'll see you in the next one.